What is going on, everybody? My name is Chino. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about everything crypto. And today we are going to be discussing how to buy cryptocurrency from scratch, from your bank account, all the way to buy whatever cryptocurrency you want. Before we dive into the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with everything crypto. So this video is mostly aimed towards people in the United States, but this strategy can be used for anybody anywhere in the world. It has become very difficult to buy the cryptocurrencies that you want in the United States. All of the exchanges are gone except for basically Coinbase and Uphold and Kraken. But as we all know, they don't have a bunch of cryptocurrencies. They don't have all of the cryptocurrencies. There's a lot of them out there. And I'm going to show you exactly how to buy whichever one you want. One thing that is absolutely necessary in order to make this process go smoothly is a VPN. You need a VPN to access these centralized exchanges that have all of these cryptocurrencies. And I know some of you may be asking, well, wait a minute, isn't that illegal? Uh, in, the, in the United States, it is not illegal to use a VPN to buy cryptocurrencies. The only thing that may happen is the exchange, if they find out you are from the United States, they might ban your account. So if you are using the exchange, you have to have the VPN on. So please keep that in mind. All right, let's dive into the video and let's get going. So what I'm going to show you is my process for buying cryptocurrency. I have been doing this for years and it has never failed me. And the process, once you learn it, you'll never forget how to do it. And if you do, you can just refer back to this video. I'm going to simplify this into four steps. Okay. Step number one, we are going to be buying Bitcoin on Cash App. Yes, Cash App. Step number two, we're going to send that Bitcoin on Cash App to a centralized exchange. The centralized exchange is where all of the cryptocurrencies are. Okay. Step number three, we are going to sell that Bitcoin into USDT. Step number four, we're going to use the USDT to buy any cryptocurrency you want. Now, what this process does is it really does give you financial freedom. You can move your cryptocurrency any which way you want, anywhere in the world that you want. You can do whatever you want with it. It's kind of the beauty of being able to do this and know how to do this. And also, uh, not financial advice, but you can get into these projects earlier than the rest of the people by knowing this knowledge. Again, not financial advice. But, all right, let's dive into it. I'm going to screen share my phone so I can show you how to process, do this process on Cash App. All right, guys, so step number one, obviously, download Cash App, okay? And look, if you're using Cash App, this only works, you can only buy Bitcoin on Cash App if you are in the United States or in the United Kingdom. So you are going to go to the home page down bottom left and you should see a little Bitcoin symbol there. Click on it and let's go ahead and buy some Bitcoin. Okay, pause. Actually, this section right here, this, if you do not see the buy and sell and this little arrow thing over here to send or receive Bitcoin, you have to do a verification process. So when you have Cash App, one, you have to hook up your bank account to it so it can go from your bank account to be able to buy Bitcoin. And the second thing is in order to send and receive, but mostly just send the Bitcoin out of Cash App to wherever you want, you are going to need to uh, show your photo ID, your driver's license, or passport, or something. Do that verification process. It can take a little bit, but just do the verification process. If you do not verify, you will not be able to move on. So once you have verified yourself with Cash App, we are going to go ahead and buy some Bitcoin. All right, buy. Let's do 100 bucks. okay? It does charge some fees. Let's see what happens here. So it takes away $2.25 of fees. Hit confirm. Now, yes, it is decently hefty fees. If you do multiple transactions, it adds up to a lot. But 
look, being able to move my Bitcoin and my crypto to wherever I want, I'll pay that fee all day. There's a lot of worse fees out there, especially in Coinbase. All right, so we purchased our Bitcoin. Now, this step is critical. What you're going to want to do now is turn on your VPN. If you have not gotten a VPN already, download a VPN and turn it on to be in the United Kingdom somewhere or anywhere else really except for the United States. But I, my safe haven is going to the United Kingdom anywhere in the United Kingdom. I use Winscribe. This is not a promotion. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. But I've been using them for years. Very reliable, very fast uh, connection. So, you know, this is an option for you. But there's a ton of VPNs out there. So turn on your VPN at this very moment in time. Next, what cryptocurrency do we want to buy? Um, let's say we want to buy Cardano, right? So the first thing we need to do is figure out where to buy Cardano. So I like going over to CoinGecko and we'll click on Cardano or you can just type it in and search up whatever crypto you want and go here to markets. And these are all of the exchanges that Cardano is listed on. You'll see Coinbase here, uh, MEXC, which is what we're going to use, Crypto.com. Every single exchange that this cryptocurrency is listed on, you'll see it here. So number two here is MEXC. This is what we're going to be using to purchase our Cardano. But going back to what we have, remember we have Bitcoin in Cash App. So what? Uh, how does? How do? How, where, where do we go from there? So we have that Bitcoin in Cash App. We are trying to get that Bitcoin into MEXC. So in, in order to do that, we need to go over to MEXC and go ahead and create your account. If you want a direct link to sign up for MEXC, go down into the description and sign up with my affiliate link. You'll get some benefits. I'll get some benefits. It's a win-win. So go down to the description and it'll take you directly to the MEXC website. Again, make sure you have your VPN turned on into the United Kingdom or else this will not work. All right, now once you are on the main page and you are logged in and you are signed up, you're gonna go ahead and go over to the top right and go to wallets, click on wallets. Go to overview, I lied. You're gonna go to wallets, click on overview. It's gonna take you over here. You are going to see a deposit button. Click on deposit. And mind you, this process is the same for any exchange. It's always going to be create your account, find the wallet, go to the wallet, and find the deposit button. This is where we are going to be depositing our Bitcoin. So just go ahead. Select which crypto you want. Bitcoin, right? So we'll select Bitcoin. Bitcoin is on the Bitcoin network. So select this one, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. And now here is our Bitcoin address for Max C. So this address is your Max C Bitcoin address. You're going to copy this. Okay. Now, however, you can get this address over to Cash App. That is the next step. Um, Mexi, you'll probably see something pop up where it'll email you, um, this address. So you can just open up your email on your phone. You know, you can just write it down. That's probably the long way, but what I can, what I like to do is copy it and email it to myself. All right. So now we're back on our phone. We're in the cash app app and we have our address from Mexi copied. Okay. So now we're going to click on this little arrow button here. Boom, send Bitcoin. Where are we going to send it to? How much are we going to send? I'm going to put $95. I always like to send uh, less than um, what we got there because there is another transaction fee that we're going to have to pay here in a bit. We're going to paste the address that is from MEXC, okay? So at this point, all you need to do, I like to verify the first four and the last four of the address just to make sure, double check that the addresses are the same. Nothing got mixed up with the copy and pasting going on. Um, so go back to Mexi, check and make sure that this address matches. I always check the last four and the first four. All right. After you check that it's the same addresses, click next. 
This is the speed that it's going to transact over to MEXC. I always choose the middle one. There's no need to pay top dollar for the priority. I find that the one that's rush is it gets there pretty quickly. Uh, so go ahead and click that one. Confirm and send. And it should read your face or you can put in your pin or whatever. And boom, you initiated the withdrawal over to MEXC. So now I'm going to cut the video and I will jump back on when that Bitcoin has gotten into the MEXC account. So while we're waiting, I figured I'd show you how to see uh, the status of your transaction because it could take a, a while. We're, we're sitting here around 10 minutes now. But anyway, if you're in Cash App uh, and you're like, where the hell is my Bitcoin? Um, go over. You see the bottom right corner there where it has that number like notifications. I have 10 notifications. You can see that my Bitcoin withdrawal is in the pending status. So it still hasn't left Cash App yet. After it leaves Cash App, it'll send you a notification and then you can go over and start checking MEXC. But as of right now, it's still in Cash App. And over in MEXC, if you want to see the transactions come in, you can go over to Wallets, go to Transaction History. And once the Bitcoin is sent, you will see it pop up right in here. And we're about 15 minutes in, so. All right, guys, the difficult part is done if you have made it this far give yourself a round of applause give yourself a pat on the back this was the most difficult part to accomplish and it was the most tech savvy most intuitive part now that the bitcoin is in the centralized exchange from here on out it's easy so our bitcoin has now gotten into mexi and we are done with step number two so now, so now that we have our Bitcoin here, what we want to do is sell it into USDT so that we can use that USDT to buy any other cryptocurrency. If you don't know what USDT is, it's a stable coin. It's one-to-one -to, -one to the US dollar. Um, USDC is another one. But basically, you can sell your crypto into USDT or USDC so that it can stay one-to-one -one with the US dollar and it won't fluctuate with Bitcoin. Anyway quick stable coin lesson there what you're going to want to do now is go to spot click on spot let's go over here let's find bitcoin so this is a little it looks intimidating as hell just look at the chart and find a search bar type in btc look for the btc usdt pair first one all right now, if we go over here, you'll see the available Bitcoin that you have to sell is that Bitcoin that was just sent over. So we're going to go ahead and put this at 100%. We're going to sell it all. And look at that, $95.72. We sent over $95. We actually made some, some money in this process. I guess Bitcoin went up while it was sending. And that's another thing um, I want to point out. When you do this, you want to get it to the exchange and sell it into USDT as fast as possible. Because remember, once you have that Bitcoin, that price is going like this. It's fluctuating up and down. It could work out in your favor as it did right here where uh, the price went up. So we made a little bit. But it also can work out not in your favor where it can go down. So, you know, it won't go down more than like, I haven't seen it go down more than a dollar. But if you hold out too long, wow, it looks like Bitcoin's pumping. If you hold out too long and you forget that you sent it, then that Bitcoin, if it crashes, then you just lost the money that you just sent over there. So try to get it as soon as possible. Okay, so back to this. We're going to go ahead and sell this uh, at the market. Can we not do this at market? Okay. So click market over here. This just sells it at whatever the market price is. And we're going to sell 100% of it. Sell. Boom. Most optimal price. All right. Now we got $95.25 of USDT. Now we can use this USDT to buy anything we want. See over here? This is the USDT pairs. And these are everything that... You, you can buy with USDT, okay? So ADA is right here. So we're going to go ahead and buy some ADA. You can also just search for it up here on the top, right? ADA, USDT, boom. So now that we're here, oh, look at ADA pumping. All right, 
so now that we're here go ahead and we can go ahead and purchase our ada buy ada i'm not going to actually buy it but all you got to do is click buy and that's it after you buy it you'll see it pop up over here in the available you'll see ada populate here and your usdt will go away and that's it so one thing i do want to point out is that this process works for any centralized exchange you buy your crypto or your bitcoin on cash app and you move it over to whatever centralized exchange you want but the thing is like this is beneficial for if you see some uh somebody some influencer or somebody talking about a cryptocurrency that you want to buy and but you don't know where to buy it like it's not on coinbase or it's not on mexi or it's not on crypto.com or whatever you go to CoinGecko, and uh, I'll show you an example. Hold on one second. So let's say we want to buy some other coin, right? Let's let's try a good example is Ergo, okay? Nobody's heard of this token, but let's say you have heard of this token, okay? And again, not promotional. I do have some Ergo, but not a promotion, not a sponsored, whatever. So let's say you want to buy some Ergo. Okay, what is that? Small market cap token. I want to buy Ergo but it's not on Coinbase. Okay, so how do I buy it? You go over to CoinGecko, type in Ergo, go down to Markets, and these are the exchanges that it's listed on. KuCoin, Gate.io, CoinX, Huobi. So we can use these exchanges and do the same exact process that we just did with Mexi, except we can do it with any of these exchanges. Bitcoin, send it over to one of these exchanges. Let's send it over to KuCoin or Gate.io. We sell it into USDT. Use that USDT to buy Ergo. And this will give you an advantage over all of the newer people that are coming in that don't know about this because this allows you to get into the tokens before they are widely available to anybody. All right, guys, that is all that I have for you guys today. If you found value in this video, please like the video. It is the number one thing you can do for me, and it helps YouTube algorithm and, blah, algorithm and makes me happy. Also, subscribe, hit the notification bell um, to stay up to date with everything crypto. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.